Okay, um, have you started um, Bahasa Malaysia lessons? Oh, I think I'm starting tomorrow. You're starting tomorrow. <laughs> so if I were to ask you a question in, in Malay, will you I mean, be able I, to I, I, I understand and I mm -hmm. can speak, but I'm just not very good at it. You're just not very good at it. I mean, I can, I can, I can go to the store to buy stuff. I can uh, order food in a, in a mamak, but well, you, I can even converse and understand, uh, you know, basic and slightly better than basic level, but you ask me to give speeches, that's a totally different, mm -hmm. different <laughs> problem. So. Actually, have you actually seen how parliament debates take place? Yeah, yeah. Um, so do you think you can emulate? Are you going to be able to speak BMS3? Uh, I, 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 I don't know. The, the parliament debates I've seen, I really do not want to emulate because they're like shouting profanities right. and, you know. Okay, um, would you declare your assets if, um, you know, for the sake of transparency, to prove that you are a clean and corrupt-free person? Yeah, sure. I mean, I can't even declare my assets right now. Mm -hmm. I actually do not own any fixed assets, <laughs> so there's nothing to declare. Okay. <laughs> But do you have any liabilities? No. No. Nothing. Yeah, I, I have nothing. <laughs> no, no assets and no liabilities. Um, can you actually tell us more about your business in China or what was left of your business in China? Uh, what exactly did you do in China? Actually, um, we we have. I mean, when we talk about the business in China, it's not just my own. It's my uh, my my family as well. Mm -hmm. We have some. Um, Dealings with uh, some of the uh, in uh, China, but um, on the personal side, I actually have a contract to to do consultancy work for a um, chemical consultancy company. Have there been talks as to whether you give up your seat for anybody in particular, any political <laughs> party leader in um, particular? <laughs> well, um, right after the elections, we have, we went we had a um, we had a gathering among the um, candidates in Dato uh, Suryana Ibrahim's house, and and Dato uh, Sri declared that he will he will, will not be taking his uh, seat from. His wife, uh, or his daughter. So, I thought that would be a real pity because you know it'd be much more interesting if Dr. Sri is in Parliament. I actually um, told Dr. Sri if, if required, he can have my seat. You know, I can step aside for for him because I think it would be beneficial. But he said no. <laughs> <laughs> he said um, he thinks that we're credible candidates, and he doesn't want to take. If he wants to take a seat from somebody, he wouldn't take from one of his, um, our own party members. So. Do you think you're going to run for a second term, or do you think you're going to have to wait and see oh. how things goes before um, you decide? At this point, we'll have to see. How things go, right? I mean, I have to try to do a job. I believe I can do it, but if say I'm very ineffective, I'm just not good at this, then I wouldn't want to be hogging a seat just because for my own personal reasons. I mean, if somebody if you feel somebody else is better at this, I'll be more effective to serve the people. Yeah, I will simply move aside. But do I intend to like quit halfway through the term? No, because I've, I mean, people voted for me and expect me to do a job for that duration of time, right? I wouldn't want to let people down. So what do you do during your free time? <laughs> What free time? Yeah. What? Oh no, you don't have free time. <laughs> no, not right now. Not right now. Sleep, I suppose. <laughs> um.